Well, hello again and welcome to another in the series of amazing puzzle solving technique where if you would notice there is no chart over here so it is not a miscellaneous puzzle it is just a simple puzzle so this puzzle will just work itself out but first of all we have got to analyze the puzzle and work from where the clues are if we should look in the inner ring we will notice that it starts from this sector the second sector is here the third sector there and the fourth sector here so this puzzle will go in a clockwise direction but first in the inner ring we see that the first term is missing which i would indicate with an x the second term would be seven the third term would be five and the fourth term would be three so simply looking at this sequence we realize that it is counting down by two so if we should start from the far right we would notice that this is three five seven so the first term must be nine so if the first term is nine simple mean it will be counting down by two so this will be nine seven five three I now put 9 in the first sector. Now, looking and analyzing for more clues, this first sector should add to 19. So, we have 9 plus 1, that is 10. 10 plus 5, that is 15. So, what, how much do I add to 15 to get to 19? Obviously, it's 4. So, Four fits easily into that slot. Now, still analyzing the puzzle for clues. This must have some clues. In the second ring, we see that the first term is four. The second term is missing, which I indicate with an X. The third term would be nine. And the fourth term would be 13. Now, I told you, this is this is the standard formula, where the fourth term would be 13, subtract the first term, which would be 4, divided by 3, should equal to the third term, which would be 9, subtract the second term, which would be x. So that would be 13, subtract 4, over 3, equals third term 9, subtract the missing term x. But this is the standard formula. And I say if I use the individual formula, it will take me half the time. So now I'm going to introduce the individual formula. One, one, the reason why I call it individual formula, since the second term is missing, that is the only formula you can use to derive the answer. If the first term is missing, you would need another formula, but they are very easy and simple. So I'll get straight into the individual formula. Now the second term is missing, so I'll use the first term, which is 4. Subtract the, the fourth term, that would be 13. So 4 subtract 13 would be minus 9. Minus 9 divide by 3. That would be minus 3. Minus 3 plus 9 equals positive 6 so this is the individual formula where it takes half the time than the usual standard formula so obviously this missing slot would be 6 and I simply put 6 there now for the second sector
For the second sector, we have all four answers, so the result should be easy. I'm going to add all the four terms in the second sector to get the result. 10 plus 8, that would be 18. 6 plus 7, that would be 13. 8, 9, 10, 11, 31. So, obviously, 31 is the result. For the second sector. Now analyzing the puzzle for more clues. Remember, we do not have a chart, so there is no number to no. There will be no reject number in this one, or no missing number. The puzzle will simply work out itself. Now analyzing the puzzle for more clues, we see the outer ring. It adds three terms so whenever it has three terms we can use the formula the first term is 19 second term is 31 third term 43 and the fourth term is missing i'm just simply gonna use the individual formula notice the fourth term is missing so i'm gonna use the the formula that will get me the fourth term I'm going to use the third term, which is 43. Subtract the second term, 31. That would equal to 12. 12 multiplied by 3 equals 36. So I say 36 plus, 4 plus 31. This subtract plus 19 plus the first term. So 5, 9, and 6, that is the 15, 3, 4, 5. So obviously the missing term is 55. So really and truly, this is the standard formula where it takes a little bit longer, but I can use this formula for any of the missing terms. But this is the individual formula which takes, which is quite easier, but you have got to know what is the formula to use. So the fourth term, fifty-five. Now The fourth sector has three terms and the result should be 55, so that should be simple addition. 13 plus 3, 13 plus 3, that would be 16. 16 plus 22, 38. How much more do I add to 38 to get 55? Simple subtraction. 55 subtract 38. 8, 5, so 5 take away 8, you can't. So we'll go over here, borrow 1, remainder 4. So 15, take away 8, that is 7. 4 subtract 3, that would be 1. So obviously, 17 is the missing term. And I put 17 right there. Now, analyzing the puzzle. We see that in the we, these two terms are missing, so we are going to use the formula. The outer ring 5, 10, x, 17. I'm just going to use. The standard formula. If I was going to, I'm going to use the individual formula. If I were using the standard formula, the third term missing, I would have to put x here. But I'm just going to now use the individual formula where I would say 17 subtract 5 equals 12. 
divide by 3, that will be 4. 4 plus 10, 40. So it's as easy as that. Very simple. Once you get to understand the individual formula, it would be easy. So 14 should go here. Now, as we wind down, just one term remain. Let us add these three terms in the third sector. 9 plus 5, that is the 14. 14 plus 14, that will be 28. How much more do I add to 28 to get 43? I will just subtract. 43, take away 28. 3, subtract 8, I can. I go over here, borrow 1. 3, 13, take away 8, that would be 5. 3, subtract 2, that would be 1. So, 15. Fifteen is is the number. So there you have it. Easy as cheesy. The puzzle is now so all rotations is a sequence. All rotation obey one rule and it is as easy as this, but I tell you, this is still a simple puzzle. As we go along, as the puzzle gets progressively harder, you will get to understand. So keep practicing and studying these things. Until next time, take care. Bye.